Hey, what's happening? It's Cadillac Kimberly, and this is According to Me, Cadillac Kimberly. If you don't like what I have to say, you know what to do. Get in the long line to kiss my ass. And tell your cousins I said hello. Let's see what's on my mind today. Houston's, you get an F. Houston's in Buckhead. Houston's on Peach Street. You don't have valet. You get an F. You don't have valet on Peach Street Road in Buckhead. Right next door to Justin's, you don't have valet. I had to get out and walk in the rain in Gucci boot heels. And I had on synthetic hair. And I had to get out in the rain and walk. I was riding around, riding around, looking for the white man to take my car. And there was not one. And valet would take care of itself. Just provide it. And we will tip. We will take care of the valet. Just get it. You're the only Houstons in Atlanta that does not have valet. And you're in Buckhead. And you're next to Justin's. And they have valet. And nobody eats at Justin's. Everybody knows Justin's is just for a look. And it's to go and have a cocktail. And then you go over to Houston's and park your own car and eat. No, it gets an F. And then you have another to have live music but no valet that's like pulling up to Arby's please get it together okay Tyler Banks thank you thank you for letting me know that I can look at TV again what well, kind of because the housewives of Atlanta are coming but I got like 20 minutes to enjoy myself because you getting it along with your big head ass and you getting off of TV in the daytime and I appreciate it take your ass back to Somalia okay I'm tired of you you know everything your mama know everything because she had two jobs she raised you to be this that and the other bitch go ahead and throw up like you've been doing Stay a size zero, you a zero, get the hell on. Okay, now if you're going to the movies, don't spend your money on their wedding or the interracial wedding, wherever, where uh, ugly, betty, married, dark skinned guy that's going with Eva. Uh uh. You don't want to uh, go see that. That was some bullshit. Okay, I was on a blind date for the first time and he was fine hell. We told him the whole movie. The movie ain't shit. So if you're trying to take your wife out for a good time or your other woman, say the money. But if she a fat bitch, don't buy the popcorn. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> Had to get that in. Praise the Lord. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. The Real Housewives of Atlanta coming back, honey. The Real Homeless house Housewives of Born Home Atlanta are returning. Get your toilet tissue out because it's going to be straight diarrhea. I know it is in my house because they ain't nothing but some bullshit. Some broke holes, especially Nene. And Nene, bitch, we know your name, Nathan. Come out the closet. And also, could you please have that right bottom tooth replaced by the time you come back this season? I'm going to need you to do that. And do something with that fucked up wig that you cannot wash that I think you had on backwards every episode, okay? That wig gave me hair. I couldn't tell you from your husband. I can't stand you. You got 15 minutes of fame and I lost your damn mind. And please put some furniture on their way. Wherever you go, they will work with you. Get that butt naked ass house some damn furniture this season, okay? When you took Lisa ass out in the backyard to go and stand and look, I thought I was going to fall down. I started to fuck four niggas to get you a chair. I was like, this bitch broke a hell. Okay, so that's what I got for you. <laughs> You know, you got to look out for Nene. You know, you got to give her some attention, honey. Them goddamn drag queens be needing attention. So, let's see what else. Lisa Hartwell. Okay, I don't like you. I think you're a gold digger and your husband is pussy whooped. And I think if you had fake hair, he wouldn't have fucked with you. But just hope that when you get older, you do not look like your daddy because your daddy ugly as hell. I was like, damn, this is reality TV because he real fucking ugly. So, we praise God that you got your mama's looks. But I just don't like you. I don't like how you showed out the first season at the reunion. Like, you gonna goddamn do some karate or something. Just sit down, okay? Sit your old ass down. Try to have you a baby, okay? That already told you your goddamn ovaries got caught. Where's bitch? Get to work. Okay, let's see. Kim, use a big hard titty bitch. You ain't shit. You ignorant as hell. And you let everybody know when you were at the poolside talking about marriage ain't nothing but a piece of paper. So I guess you're going to raise your daughter to be some hoes. But I guess that's why you and Nene was so tight because her mama was a hoe because she don't know who her daddy is. And that's fucked up. And she let everybody know that her mama from Albany is a hoe and she hunting down her dad. <laughs> that's some bullshit. <laughs> who doing that, son? What they doing that at? <laughs> Where they doing that at? Where they fucking more than two men and ain't one of them wearing a rubber? Nene Mama was a hoe. That's messed up. She let everybody know. <laughs> and go call Candy Country. But yet when they went to Nene's stomping ground, it wasn't nothing but some damn bushes. How about that? But Candy, big up to you. One thing I got to say, AJ had to be dicking your ass down to have all them children and you still wanted to marry him. May his soul rest in peace. Even though I hate like hell, he had to die at a damn. we well, get beat up at a strip club. That was like real messed up for his parents. But God bless his soul. But I love your mama candy and how she kept it boss and how she had her makeup done at the photo shoot. But she was still eating the chicken wing and did not mess up that lipstick. I said, baby, she is a beast. She don't want love. <laughs> 
She did not mess up that dog on this stick. I said, she is a boss. And then she kept it real. She said, I ain't going to take no picture with him. I don't like him, okay? I ain't doing like these hoes on the housewives. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be different, okay? Let's see what else. Oh, honey, okay. Even though Miss Snow, she's no longer a housewife. What about her preacher, Eddie Long? Bishop Long is wrong. Y'all seen that wig he wearing? He taking too much authority. I'm going to need him to bring that back. Eddie Long, you're wrong. Please, take off them shirts from kindergarten and take off that damn wig. <laughs> He killing me. He just blowing y'all goddamn time money. Just making it rain. Okay, what else? Um, is there anything else? Anything else? I guess that's all. That's enough to hold you until next time. Anyway, you can Google me. You can YouTube me. I'm Cadillac Kimberly. You can also follow me on Twitter at Caddy Kim. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my ass. And I mean it. Love you.